What is up guys, my name is Anime Gia here. Welcome back to a new story. A story that was made by yours truly. Welcome to What If Naruto Awakened the Mon Mokitan and the Mangekyo Sharingan in The Force of Death, created by yours truly. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and this is an apology from me for not posting any videos 10 days or 10 weeks ago. Who knows? I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if you're new and enjoy. In the deepest in north side of the forest of death, we see four shinobis, one enemy, and three Konoha shinobis. We see the names of Sasuke Uchiha, Naruto Uzumaki, and Sakura Haruno, as well as facing off a venomous grass shinobi that smells of snakes. The grass shinobi blitz towards Sakura, punching her in the face, sending her hailing back. Didn't knock her out though, but using some amounts of chakra, pushing her towards the one of the trees. Now the grass shinobi looks towards Sasuke. With a smirk on his face, he is, she vanished. In a blink of an eye, a boot kick was going to Sasuke's gut. Kicking him in the stomach, sending him hailing back to a tree, knocking him out unconscious. She bites Sasuke's neck and then retreats. Now looking at Naruto Uzumaki, a boy with natural talent. A talent that should be awakened right now. In this, Naruto was feared. He was scared, he was afraid. With slitted red eyes, he showed fear in them. It doesn't matter if he had to power of the biju he was scared back then when he was just a child running away from the villagers he was afraid then now he's afraid now he feared and scared of death this grass shinobi walked towards naruto slowly and with a semi snake type voice he spoke she spoke naruto kun how are you? No. Show me that potential of yours. Naruto was scared, sensing the presence of death itself. He was feared. But this fear didn't come up like the Biju of the Nine Tails. He wasn't he was scared of the Nine Tails more than this guy. But this guy had more fear, more power behind it. Other than the Naruto's who hold back his fear, to not to scare the boy, but to let him know that he was feared across the lands of the elemental nations. Naruto was scared. Killer intent flared the whole half of the fourth of some death. Some ninjas, more the rank of Chuni to Joni, since this killer intent. Orochimaru then noticed this and had to calm down. Naruto's eyes flickered. Off red, it slitted two black three tomos in his eyes, showing the Sharingan. Naruto was now still afraid, and something popped in his mind, speaking to him, telling him to do this jutsu. Say it, said the person in his mind. Say it, said the person again. Wood style, wood jack and jitsu, said Naruto, with still tears in his eyes. A dragon appeared out of nowhere, crashing to Orochimaru. Orochimaru smirked and dodges it. One instant, the dragon flips over or rotates, smashing back towards Orochimaru. Orochimaru actually getting caught by this getting hit towards a tree. He spoke again. Wood style. Wood spikes, said Naruto, standing on his ground, showing the power he has. Wood style. Wood arm, said Naruto, trying to grab Orochimaru. Every jitsu Naruto throw, Orochimaru dodges. On impact, fire style. Dragon flame bullet. Said Orochimaru. Orochimaru now spits out a bunch of fireballs that turns into dragons. 
deeper and darker dragons running towards Naruto, hitting him on impact. But something blocks it. Wood style. Wood golem, said Naruto. A semi-small and medium golem appeared, protecting Naruto from the fire. And Naruto spits out at the same time, doing the same thing Orochimaru did it, but different. Fire style. Fire dragon. A large dragon went crashing down to Orochimaru. Orochimaru dodges. In a slift spit, the taijutsu fight begins. Naruto wasn't a great taijutsuist, but some two people in his mind told him to dodge. Naruto did it, and a snake went towards it. Naruto drop kicks Orochimaru, which actually hits. Then he dodges again, and again. Orochimaru didn't notice. How's his boy dodging it? Orochimaru thought, No one is not that fast. <laughs> Naruto-kun, you're the one and only son of that young dame. <laughs> Orochimaru chuckled with a laugh. A makayoku laugh, Orochimaru strikes. Naruto was too slow at this one. With his Sharingan activated, he was almost good at dodging it, but a gentle fist went towards Naruto's stomach, sent him hailing back. Naruto knew that he has to get his two friends out of here. Wood style. Wood clone. Two clones appeared beside Naruto. Naruto looked at both of them and nodded. They understand what he means and grabbed both Sakura and Sasuke. Sakura was still Days, but notice Naruto's eyes in the wood release. What? How did? And then the shadow clone, or the wood shadow clone, knocks Sakura out. Naruto now flared his chakra. He has to get his soup, his Gigi, or any shinobis to help him. Naruto was strong. With the Sharingan and just unlocked it, he was not that strong. Naruto put his hands together and went to awesome or faster ninjutsu and said wind style wind air bullet he says a large wind bullet went towards Orochimaru Orochimaru just sink under the ground confusing Naruto a drop a kick was towards Naruto's back but Naruto's instantly sensed it and dodges back flipping with a kick to Orochimaru's chin Aruchimaru slide away like a snake he was. Naruto wondered who was this guy, female, woman, or male. But Naruto needs to know. But soon he seen Aruchimaru's face. The face of Aruchimaru. His eyes was yellow with slits in them, like a snake. He looked towards Naruto, and Naruto felt the immense of killer intent rised again like is something a demonic naruto had to do it once more and inside of his mind he speaks with the kayubi please help me naruto pleaded with the beast he was scared of the beast but the beast complied fine i want to see you stronger jinjuriki naruto Kitsun said the nine tails, sending Naruto away with the burst of chakra. A large one tails appeared behind Naruto's back. Naruto went to his one tail cloak. Naruto's eyes now was dangerous and morphed into the Mangekyo. With the amount of chakra Naruto has it now, his wood release in his Sharingan was now dangerous. Orochimaru smirks would have laughed. Orochimaru knew that some shinobis is coming. He can sense it. The Ambus. And no other than Anko Madarashi. But Orochimaru quickly wasn't paying no attention. And with a burst of Naruto, Orochimaru got kicked in the face, sending him hailing back. And skidded to the ground. Naruto would have growl 
spoke out of turn. Damn you. You did this to my team. In a deep voice, he roared. Fire style. Great fireball jitsu. Naruto roared in a great fireball. Went towards Orochimaru. Orochimaru easily dodges, stepping out of the way. With a drop kick to Naruto's gut, sending him falling back. Releasing the cloak of the Nine Tails, he was panting. Naruto was on the ground. He couldn't use his wood release nor his Sharingan. Both of them was deactivated. The only reason Naruto could use wood release and his Sharingan combined is because of his bloodline. But he can't use it without a an ounce of chakra. He was panting. He was on a on the tree branch, panting. How can I not beat him? I'm not strong enough. In Naruto's mind, two people spoke. You are, said the person. The person had long black hair and a headband, showing him he was from Konoha. The headband and two two hairs that by his left and right eye. He was known as Hashirama Sinju, the first Hokage and of the Sinju clan, and the head of the Sinju clan. The other one, with black spiky and long raven hair that reaches almost his buttocks, and black eyes. He was known as Madara Uchiha, the leader the leader of the Uchiha clan, co-founder of the Leaf Village. They both chuckled. These two didn't have the memories of the Madara they used to know. Of the Mother Uchiha that is now in Konoha. Of the Mother Uchiha that attacked Konoha. He has no memories of attacking Hashirama. This was the younger version of Madara, but with full potential and power that Madara hold inside of him. Both of them smiled at each other, seeing this. At the moment, both of them knew that this boy would be powerful and hold the bloodline of a Uchiha and hold the bloodline of a Sinju and the Uzumaki with mounts of chakra of his own chakra was more powerful and potent. Plus the Kayubi, Naruto was three times more powerful than a normal kid. He has three times the power of t three cages combined. Naruto's chakra was more dangerous if he used it correctly. And with more chakra control, Naruto would be dangerous in a battle. But Naruto is now sitting there panting. And Orochimaru walked towards Naruto. With a kick to Naruto's chin, he, up he hit Naruto's in the chin. Sitting him up towards. Naruto looked towards... Orochimaru, and Orochimaru knew that he couldn't give Naruto what he wants, the curse mark, because of that damn Kayubi, but he can tell Naruto something. If you want to know the truth, Uzumaki, Orochimaru lowered, lowered his voice and squinting down to Naruto's ear, I know your mother, your father. Your grandfather is, and I know who your grandsons are. If you want to know the truth, I will train you, become a mine, and I will help you become strong, just like the Uchiha, just like you. I can help you, just find me somewhere. I will send somebody after you and my Uchiha Sasuke gun. And you two will be the most powerful, greatest shinobi in history. Then, with a swift punch to Naruto's face, knocking him out unconscious, Orochimaru could take Naruto, but it was too late. Three Anbu captains, plus Anku Matarashi, plus Kakashi Hatake. There is on the team. Kakashi with a Sharingan raised, and with the three captains, Orochimaru has to go. 
Cause facing off with three captains was very easy. But Kakashi wasn't just a captain. He was a commander and the leader of the Anbu before resigning from the team. Kakashi looked at Naruto and with a sad look on his eyes, he was angry. He knew that he couldn't adopt Naruto-kun. He couldn't adopt him because of the law that the, villi that the village elders placed on some shinobis that knew Minato. And he had enough of this. Kakashi looked at Anko, and then the three captains. Aruchimata was still there on the tree near Naruto. Kakashi had enough and glared at Orochimaru. With a deep glare, he rushed towards it. With anger, Kakashi tried to stab Orochimaru, but Orochimaru dodges. He wasn't a legendary Sani for nothing. But Kakashi went forward. With a Sharingan blazing to life, Orochimaru was now on the defense, defending and blocking and parrying the attacks. But the three captains looked at Kakashi and noticed that he was angry. In every, if you see an angry Hatake or angry Kakashi Hatake, who is known across the lands or known across the entire nation as the Copy Ninja Kakashi, or known as the Hatake, the Copy Ninja, that mastered and copied over 1,000 ninjutsus and was the commander of the Anbu. Don't ever get in his way while fighting and while in the fury of anger. Even Matarashi Anko knew about this. She knew she teased Kakashi, but Kakashi didn't mind it. But in a fight against Kakashi and making him angry was a minimum. Kakashi never got angry. If he did, he was a fierce shinobi to be reckoned with. He couldn't face, he could face the Hokage, but he will lose soon. But he's facing the anger. You would die. Fire style. Great fireball jitsu. He blared out and shooting a fireball. But once the fireball went towards Orochimaru, Kakashi vanished with a body flicker. Parent behind Orochimaru and swift kicking him to the legs. But Orochimaru dodges, backflipped over Kakashi. And Kakashi seeing the fireball trying to connect with him, Kakashi sunshining the way, appearing behind another tree. And notice Orochimaru sinking to the ground, smirking. I will be back. And do not let Sarutobi Sensei close the chinning exams. If do, I will destroy Konoha, said Orochimaru, now seeking into the trees, disappearing for now. The three Ginnings or the Ginnings of Team 7 already have the two scrolls they need. So, Naruto was still unconscious. Kakashi wasn't a censor, but one of the captains was, and they found the Ginnings of Team 7 in a tree waiting for Sakura and the three wood clones. They didn't know it was wood clones because they didn't see Naruto's battle or nor Naruto's Sharingan. The wood clones had to disappear in wood before and they sensed the three shinobis, actually four shinobis, plus Naruto, and they had to disperse. Sakura was still there doing basic medical to Sasuke-kun and three Three sound shinobis appeared. Same thing happened as in what happened as in canon. Sakura or Sasuke broke one of the arms of a sound shinobi, sending them heading back, taking their scroll. While Rock Lee was knocked out and was now grabbed by his team, leaving. And Shikamaru team, the Akamichi Cho, was there. Well, the Shino Cho team was there, waiting. This win, the uh, three Anbu captains, Uncle Madarashi and Kakashi Hatake, appeared. Sakura, Sasuke. This was an order. 
and Kakashi was not Kakashi wasn't the way wasn't a person that would say take no for answer nor in a hmm or anything he would take the demands and answer the question lightly do each of you know who attacked Naruto Sasuke nodded he called himself Orochimaru and I was forgetting who was that and I know now Orochimaru the legendary Sanin Sasuke noticed Kakashi's face knowing that if he answered stupidly he will be beaten. What happened? Explained Sakura. Or explain Kakashi. Kakashi glared at the three Inashiko Cho team from Team 10, telling them to leave. This is not for their ears. Kakashi looked at the um, one of the Ombu captains, take him to the tower. Make sure they got the two scrolls, and then take them to the tower. I do not care what the Hokage says about intervening. This is a matter of time, and I order you to take them to the tower. One of the Ambu captains nodded and bowed at Kakashi, vanishing with the three shinobis. Sakura explained. She explained what happened and what she saw. She saw Naruto with a wood release and a Sharingan that shocked both Kakashi and Sakura, Anko and the two other captain, Shinobi, captain of the Ombus. Are you telling me he awakened them very soon? Kakashi spoke with a smile. He knew what she was talking about. Alright, we will go to the tower. Time skip. Excuse me. A few hours later, they appeared at the tower, giving Naruto basic medical and let him sleep. They spoke with Hokage about what happened, and the Hokage was furious. But he smiled that Naruto actually unlocked his bloodline. But now he has to place him in the CRA. Giving Naruto a bunch of wives that he has to mate with to have more children of the Senju and Uchiha clan. But one more person, a person of the Namikaze. The Namikaze had a bloodline called Speed Release. Speed Release gave them the ability to move faster, but it was rare. The Namikaze was having the rare ability in bloodline. So the fourth Okage never had this ability from his father. So he had to come up to a way of using it or to make it himself so he did calling the flying raijin speed release was or was called abilities that can use and send and going faster than anyone even facing the raikage the third or the fourth raikage a it will compare to his speed with chakra mode or with the lightning mode that he uses and full chakra. That's what speed release does. Compare and conquer. Now, the second tuning exams begins. Everything happens as in canon. Given Rock Lee, Sasuke, Naruto, Ino, Hinata, Kiba, Sakura, Shikamaru, Shino, Choji, and others. Gara, Tsuna uh, Tamari, Konkuro, and other shinobis and other Genins fought. And everything happens as in canon. I will not change that. With that being said, the third proctor begins. With that, Naruto had to be trained, and Naruto spoke with the Hokage, telling him about this. The Hokage had to put a silencer seal up to let Naruto know who true parents are. Naruto smiled, but went frightened. Naruto's parents was no other than Nayande Mokage, son of son of the second Okage and a Namikaze woman. And and Kushina was the daughter of Uchiha Madara 
and Uzumaki Kinto. With that being said, Naruto was surprised. He was a Senju, Uchiha, Namikaze, and that's it. In Uzumaki, he had the ability of all clans in Konoha, mostly all clans in Konoha. But the three, po the four most powerful clans, the Namikaze clan that holds the bloodline of Speed Release. The Senju clan that hosts the Mogitan and the most powerful is Water Release. The Uchiha clan that hosts the most of Fire Jutsus and the Bloodline called the Dojutsu of the Sharingan. Naruto was a overpowered shinobi, or would be in the future. And though Kage was writing something down on a piece of paper, successor, Naruto Uzumaki, he smirked at this. Giving this to his assistant. Please keep this safe. Put it in the Uza put it in the locker that I told you to put it in. Do not let anyone touch it or get near it. If they do, call me and I will deal with it. Hi, Hokage Saba. The assistant went off went out the door and smiled. The third shinobi or the Chuni exams begins, or not begin. Naruto was now getting trained by Jiraiya Sensei, summoning Toads and learning the Rasengan, as well as learning some other Funjitsu arts, taking Funjitsu off his mother and father. Naruto was good at Funjitsu as well, shocking Jiraiya. Jiraiya taught Naruto a lot of Funjitsu. Giving Naruto a level 5 ceiling master. Jiraiya smiled. It's been a month and he was now a level 7 ceiling master. For just 4 weeks, for just 3 weeks, Naruto was a level 5. That last week, Naruto was boosted up with 2 more seals, learning more seals and becoming a level 7 ceiling master. Jiraiya knows that he will have to train Naruto in Fujitsu more often, since Naruto was introduced with that. No one knew Naruto's true clan, so the third Hokage will speak his mind when the sec the third Chun exams began, which he did. Haigia, Hyuga. <clears throat> Naruto Uzumaki versus Hyuga Neji. Before the Hokage spoke, after the Jungin spoke, the Hokage rose. Listen, everyone, as the Hokage of Konohagikir Hai no Kuni, I would like to say what you villagers and Jonins, Genians, and all did to this young boy was no more because this boy was known and the son of the fourth Hokage Minato no Mikaze the grandson of the second Hokage and the grandson of Madara Uchiha the son of Kushin Uzumaki and the Jinjuriki of the Nine Tails he has the bloodline of the Uchihas the bloodline of the Mokitan, the first Hokage, in a Funjutsu master. Now you see how you really effed up, said the Hokage with a smirk. Everyone was shocked. Some of them, not all of them. Some of the Jonis knew, but some of them did not, like Kurunai, Anko, and. And that's it, because Asuma Saratobi, Jiraiya, and others knew Kakashi as well as as well as my guy. And that's it. Naruto is now facing off. He trained a little bit of his Mogitan and his Sharingan. He would not use it in battle because there's no point. So he blitzes off, battling and only Taijutsu, no ninjutsu. He went towards the Hyuga, fighting him, but that was a wrong mistake. He never fight 
Ahayuga and Taijutsu. But Naruto had a plan. Speed release. He spoke. And won those words. He spoke and put a ram sign up. He vanished. In a blink of the eye, he vanished in like a yellow flash. All around the area, all around the tuning exams, he vanished. Flashing away. Placing seal markers. Knowing he won't use ninjutsu, which this is a bloodline, which is not a ninjutsu style. It's just speeding up his form. Well, he did that. He kept vanishing, placing Fujitsu. And Fujitsu is not a ninjutsu style. Ninja art. Seal of barrier, he spoke. And a large barrier appeared around the area. And Naruto spoke again. Ninja art. Master of chakra. Or something like that. Naruto vanished in a blink of an eye. The Hayuga couldn't keep up with his eyes activated, and a seal appeared around his neck. And all Naruto was doing is placing fake markers, fake Fujitsu markers, and he was just slowing down his speed so the Hayuga could catch up to it, thinking he was placing down a Fujitsu. But that was not even a barrier he placed down. It was a weak Genjutsu, which the Hayuga didn't notice at all. Then something hit him. Release, he spoke. And then the Genjutsu released. Appeared behind him was a chakra Funjutsu art, taking the Hayuga's chakra into the glass and to the paper. And the Hayuga passes out. But Naruto, once the Hayuga passed out, Naruto released the, the seal on his neck, giving him his chakra. He didn't hit him, touch him, or beat him in Taijutsu. Only using one hand sign and one paper, he won. Naruto was now on the stand. But Anko looked at Naruto with a smirk. A sexy type of dim dominant smirk. Saying that I'm going to have a piece of you later. Naruto looked at Anko in some type of what are you looking at type of way. Naruto walked towards her because he liked type of creatures or women like that. With strength and power to come back it up. And Nar people didn't know Naruto's half side of it. Naruto didn't like Sakura. He was just playing it like he was a fool. Naruto walked behind Anko, and he who knew, he knew who Anko was, because he had to be on teams with Anko on one of their missions they had to go to, retrieving some snake or some scroll from Orochimaru's hideout, which is the A rank to S rank mission. At the moment, Naruto walked behind Anko, and spoke in their ear. Whispered something that made Anko stiffen and what a blush on her face. Kurina UI noticed this and was confused. What did he say to get Uncle like this? This is part one. Part one of what if Naruto awakened the Mokiton and the Mangekyo. Wish I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Part 2 will come out later, tomorrow night. So enjoy the video. Like, share, and subscribe. And have a very Mokitan and Mangekyo day. I'm joking. This is apology. I'm so sorry for not posting any videos lately. And this is apology for you. This is What If Naruto Awakening the Mokitan and the Mangekyo Sharingan in the Force of Death. Created by me. The fanfiction was created by me. And I use a little words, tongues up in there because I kept, um, well, because I kept reading it wrong. So I was just putting in some more detail into the story. With that being said, I hope you enjoy this fan fiction that I created. And it wasn't, I think it wasn't that good to you guys. I hope it's good to you guys. But this is an apology and I'm sorry. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe, and enjoy. Peace out. Love you guys. Goodbye.